Damien, I think it's the first time we've caught up with you this season. I mean, just looking back at the last game, is that the best goal you've scored in your career? Um, I scored a few. I didn't mind the one against Accrington last year because it was with my right foot, so it was um, it was different. Um, scored one at Hearts a few years ago now, probably about seven years ago. That was um, a decent one, but it's definitely up there, yeah, top three. So no then. <laughs> <laughs> um, disappointing result, but you know, there's a lot of mitigating factors in that, given you know a side ravaged by injuries to, to only lose it in the very last minute. It seems like you guys did give all you, give all you could in the end. Yeah, it was difficult to take. Um, obviously, you alluded to the fact that we had, you know, some players on international duty and things like that, and a few injuries. But yeah, realistically, probably was a fair result when you look back on it. We didn't really create too much. We weren't at our best what we've shown earlier in the season. So I'd have to say it was difficult to take with it being so late on in the game that we conceded. But it wasn't anything that was deserved. So that wasn't deserved. Sorry. Early days, I mean, seven games in, but do you, how would you compare League One this season from what you've seen so far to how you felt it was last, last campaign? Yeah, so I feel like this season, all the teams were at a similar level. Um, last season, you had the likes of Ipswich, who were frightening. They've obviously gone on and kicked on in the Championship. Um, I feel like the levels this year is quite, all the teams are quite close together and it's it's difficult to, to tell which way it's going to go in terms of what teams are going to be near the top, what teams are going to be near the relegation. Even the teams that went down last season, realistically, they, it, was, it was granted that the, the, the levels wasn't probably as, it, as a League One level, which is why they went down. So, yeah, I feel like the teams are very... I wouldn't want, I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I wouldn't be betting on League One this year because you don't know which way it's going to go. I think a big part in that is that those sides that did come down, Reading, Wigan, Blackpool, I mean, sadly, a couple of those teams have been deducted points. So, you know, they've had that opportunity to almost run away with it, like you would expect one or two of those teams to do, takes it away. Um, yeah, but respectively, we played against Reading this season and I thought we were the better team. And Wigan, if you give them uh, eight points, was it, back, they, they, I think they'd be on 12, so... That's not top of the table, so yeah, they're starting and around it, um, and and Blackpool's come down as well in their mid table, so it just shows how strong this league is this year. Do you think that as a group, or I mean individually as well, the fact that you feel this league is so much more competitive will, will bring out the best in you guys? Do you know what I think? What's going to bring it out of the best out of each of us this season is each other. Um, competition for places. I don't think anybody's nailed on in the team. Everybody, everybody's got to show what they bring to the party, and I feel like that drives on each individual, especially myself. And given the, the injuries that we've had, certain players have been playing in positions that they're perhaps not used to. Yeah. There seems to be a real fluidity to this team that, when asked if a player needs to play in an unfamiliar position, they're more than capable of doing it, and, and they're more than willing to do it. I think with this group of lads that we've got here at the moment, like, it's a very good group of lads. I can't, I can't say I've been in many dressing rooms where everybody's such good people and in tune with what the manager is asking him to do. It's like if the manager went and asked me to play centre back, I'm going to go and give him an order. So I think that's part of the parcel of just being willing and I'm positive that you can do what the manager is asking you to in that situation. Be interesting to see how you do there, I think. <laughs> I think on the ball I'll be all right, but aerial duels I might, I might struggle with that one. <laughs> um, moving on to, to Cheltenham, Gary said he'd seen a great reaction this week in training. Do you expect that reaction to be replicated on the pitch on Saturday? Yeah, training's been good. Um, manager's always talking about the next game, which is the most important. Put that one to bed now, late in our in. We know it wasn't good enough, but you know we've got a chance on Saturday to rectify it, go again. And... Um, Hopefully we get the result that we're after. Cheltenham, despite their league position, their stats just a difficult team to break down. Only yeah. the odd goal in their in their defeats. It, it's going to yeah. be a tight game, I think. Yeah, we just had a meeting on it then. You know, they sit in a low block. Um, you can they sit in a low block. They frustrate you. They make you try and force things. And we've just got to be patient, play our football, know what we're capable of, runs in behind, getting on it, making the right decisions, and hopefully we can come out with a win. Thanks a lot. Perfect. Got you.